hi friends it's queen alita so i decided to hop on real quick to share this message because the way that my day is going i'm not going to be able to get this video out so this is impromptu um but yeah i figured i have time now let me do this so i just want to welcome you back to the channel and if you are new welcome um quick disclaimer especially for those of you that are new it's important to note that not every prophetic message that i put out is meant for you so if it resonates in your spirit and you want to run with it please make sure that you take it before the lord and just ask him for confirmation he will speak to you he'll let you know what season you're in where you're at and what he's doing in your life um, sometimes i get people in the comments section saying well this didn't happen for me or whatever uh, sometimes you're just not at that point and the lord is speaking to you about something else so make sure that you are in alignment with him and where you're supposed to be right so I know that for some of you, this is going to be confirmation of what God has already been speaking to you about, which is awesome. If you do have any questions, if you want to understand more, take it back to him. It's important to have that relationship with him. That's the most important thing is to be able to hear from him, from him for yourself and not to rely on prophecies from everybody in any, uh, you know, video that comes up. Just make sure that you have that relationship with him as well, because that is the most important thing. So I had a dream on what's the date of this dream. It was probably last week, Thursday, which was the 22nd so june 22nd was when i had this dream sorry about that so i had this dream on june 22nd 2023 and in this dream i was driving um a car and um my dad was in the passenger seat to my right and in the back was there were two people um i'd rather not mention who they are uh just for the sensitivity of the relationship that i have with them but there were two other people both women okay and so as i was driving i remember stopping at a petrol station or a gas station whatever you call it and i fueled up and once i was done fueling up i immediately just went flying down the road like i accelerated and it was so exhilarating for me it felt so good and i didn't feel like i was going too fast or anything like that but my backseat passenger one of them was like what are you doing you can't be driving this fast and my dad to my right he was quiet he um was like no we good like I, he just didn't he wasn't moved and i expected it from him i thought that he was going to be the the one who was going to complain the most um because my dad was always i remember when i started driving so many years ago and i got my license my dad was like don't drive on the freeway don't do this don't do that and on that same day i did exactly all the things that he told me not to do um i used to call him the panic mechanic but yeah i don't call him that anymore i don't speak negativity over him anymore but that's what i expected from my dad in the dream you know he was he's always like trying to make sure that we don't do anything dangerous that will hurt us so uh he was quiet he was kind of like okay you know i see what you're doing and i know that as i was driving uh the was a hump in the road and I was able to slow down and maneuver the hump easily and then continue with my accelerated movement and then also it's important this is very very important because I, I was driving down a very particular street this street appeared in a dream that I had sometime in December and I was going in the opposite direction in the dream in December so the direction that I was going in that dream was more towards home that's the way I would go if I was coming from wherever I was coming from. Uh, the, that road leads to many places. It's a road I'm familiar with. So I was going towards the direction that I would go if I was going home. But in this dream, I was going in the opposite direction. I was coming from home. It's like I was coming from home and going out, right? So the Lord pointed that out to me and showed me that, you know, there's, that's very significant. So um, the dream then shifted to a scene where I was in a bedroom. It felt like my parents' house and uh, the bedroom was mine. And I was in the bedroom with my mom and my youngest sister. And, you know, they're pretty close. They even look like each other. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway so they were in the room with me and then we heard something outside the window now the window is um like looks out into the front yard of the house so 
we were like i don't know what's going on so i kind of like well i didn't open the curtain it just kind of was suddenly open um it's not like it just moved in the dream first we couldn't see and then now we could see and i could see through the window that my dad was working on the garden he was just busy it was just looking nice and fresh and green and you know the lovely brown soil and then he started to kind of like throw some things through the window like first it was some kind of like i don't know what it was at first i thought it was a jacket but it wasn't quite a jacket it was um a heavy kind of thing uh that looked like a winter jacket but it wasn't a jacket so he put it on the bed and my issue was no you can't just throw it on the bed it's dirty because my sheets are white right in the dream um so i was just like no you can't do that and then I realized oh okay it's not a dirty thing so I kind of move it off the bed and I'm like settled and then he kind of throws in like an extension cord that looked dirty to me because it was coming from outside and I was like no now you're putting this on my bed and he was like no it's okay don't worry about it and it didn't mess up the sheets at all or the duvet cover and then my mom says to him um i think he started to kind of like fiddle with my bed because suddenly he was now inside the room he just kind of came in <laughs> through the window somehow and uh my mom said to him yeah i know you should turn that mattress around it needs to be turned the right way uh it, the, it's it's upside down it needs to be turned the right way up so he started to fiddle with that and i was so confused i was like why why are they like what's the point why are they doing this and as he was doing that the dream ended so that was a pretty cool dream i really enjoyed that dream i knew it had a good meaning um look all the dreams that are from the lord have a good meaning you know he's he's out here trying to help us so it's good for us to pay attention to what he's sharing with us through these dreams so like i mentioned this dream was on the same street i was driving on the same street as uh i was driving in the the dream that i had in december in the dream that i had in december i was coming in to then like i was driving up the road instead of down and out so i was dri driving in um going towards home and in that dream i was being checked into a wellness facility the lord was speaking about rejuvenation he was speaking about um just you know a time of refreshment um and it really has been that for me and i know that it has been that for some of you again this is not for everybody all right we're not all in the same season but it has been a time of just rejuvenation um you know for me personally i even went through a few uh weeks where i saw a counselor you know just really just a christian counselor you know somebody that really helped me uh through some really tough things that have happened and it's just been so good for my soul so so good like the lord just showed up in such a beautiful way and just you know pulled me out of you know like i wouldn't say depression because depression is a is a serious mental illness but you know really pulled me out of a state of mind that was um threatening threatening to lead me down the road towards depression so the lord knew that i needed that you know a lot has happened in the last few years and i haven't had a chance to breathe and kind of just process and take it all in and and deal with all the you know the the attacks that the enemy had thrown my way so i know personally that that happened i didn't expect it to to happen the way that it did i just thought that I w it was just going to be one on one with me and the lord but one day he said you know call the therapist and i was like what i don't want to do that i just want to sit here and just be in your presence sort of but not quite because you know it, there was just a lot of like um you know when you've just been through a lot and it, it's just you find it so difficult to connect with the lord um in the way that you would like so i would pray every day i would make sure that um i had interaction with the lord every day but there were so many things that were going on inside of me that i needed to deal with so that i could have a healthy relationship with him so that's just a little bit of what's been happening for me okay that recording stopped but i think i was just sharing about where i had been um in you know the beginning part of this year like no, let me not say that. yeah the first half of this year and how the lord had shown me that june would be um kind of the the ending of that time of just rejuvenation so um yeah the lord has really been 
working on my relationship with him and he's just so full of grace like you know <laughs> growing up in churches you 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 get this perception of god that makes you so scared of him sometimes and really through this process and even before like the lord had i've been through counseling before um and, and i've come to understand the father's heart but but this this process that I've just been through in the last six months or so has just solidified just how loving and so full of grace he is that you know when you're at your worst he's not uh you know beating you down for not worshiping enough for not praying enough look I was praying like I said every day but not the way that I wanted to not the way that I felt like I was messing up the kingdom of darkness like I was you know when you just crawling and you're just trying to make it through your day it literally felt like that in the spirit like I was just barely pulling it together um and still he just covered me with his grace he didn't like chastise me and make me feel like well you should be praying more you should be worshiping more you should be doing this and that more um he's just been really gentle and because of that I've been able to just come to a healthier space and this is really what this word is about that you know a lot of you have been through um, some challenging times just the other day I read someone's comment you know just how tough things have been and so I know I get it and what the Lord was showing through this dream is that um, that second scene is actually what's happening now for you or is about to happen and the first scene is what's going to follow so in that second scene being in the bedroom and um just kind of things happening that i wasn't quite understanding thinking that they were bad but they weren't is just kind of the way a lot of you are now or about to get into as the lord starts to uh pull you out of the 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 hectic times um or at least out of the time of refreshment let me put it that way because it's been a, a time of rejuvenation and just rebuilding you bringing you back to yourself bringing you back to to just a, a solid um interaction with him a solid intimacy with him so in that second scene the what the lord was showing me is how um you know the the well let me put it this way my father represents the Lord in this dream and him tending the garden. So the garden being in the front yard, just God showing you a future like, hey, he's getting things ready. He's preparing um, things for you that are going to grow. OK, they're going to sprout and grow and they're going to flourish. This is going to be your he's just showing you what's coming up. And while he's doing that, he's getting you ready to come into that. And in the dream, I had the situation with him putting stuff on the bed and I wasn't understanding and it wasn't as bad as I thought. It wasn't what I thought it was at all. So the Lord was just uh, showing me how um you know, just the process that I've been through with him and that some of you are going through now is to trust him, trust the process, trust what he's doing because he's bringing you into a deeper intimacy. He's turning your intimacy with him around. That's what he's done for me. Right now, I'm at a level with God that I've never been before. And that's what I love about um, coming out of these uh, difficult seasons, out of uh seasons where you really feel like you're just literally crawling and just hanging by a thread there's an elevation that takes place when you do remain faithful to being in that relationship with God so right now for example um I mean I, I just don't stop praying like I'm constantly in prayer if I'm not doing anything walking down the passage in the house I'm like okay Lord hallelujah and I'm throwing in a prayer over whatever is coming uh to mind but it's it, there's a fire in me that he's put because he's turned the intimacy around and I've come into a deeper intimacy with him. And the, the Lord is showing you that that's what he wants to do with you. That's what he's doing in this time. So it may seem like, wait, what are you doing? I thought this was going to happen. And why are you putting that there? Um, just like I was in the dream. And my dad was just like, no, don't worry. It's okay. And then, you know, him and, and my mom turning that mattress around is just a symbol of the intimacy that you're going to have with the Lord being um, turned around and, and made into something better. Because my mom said in the dream, you know, it's the wrong way around. It's, it's upside down. It needs to be the right way. So 
um yeah god just turning that relationship with him around and as a result of that um he's going to equip you with knowledge with understanding because of that intimacy because of coming into that space with him uh in such a way that is going to um give you confidence right to be able to just move ahead with things he's going to put in you a trust and faith in him that is going to be unshakable and it, it, it it's shown in the way that i was driving you know he's going to fill you up right so i had to fill up the car so there's going to be some kind of spiritual filling filling from within that is going to give you the confidence and the faith in in him that's going to help you to move forward in a way that you you've never done before and and without hesitation i mean i just put my foot on that accelerator i was just like let's go and it was so exciting and exhilarating and that's what you're going to experience and again my father was uh, in the passenger seat and he was just like you know he had the sense of just peace he wasn't um on my case i just felt supported by him and again him representing the father and um the people in the back uh because of the relationship i have with them i understand that god was showing me people that have not supported me in the past who have second guessed me who have um made me feel like this path that i've taken is not the right one um that i haven't heard from god and um yet there I am moving forward with confidence and able to navigate the road when there was a hump I was able to slow down get over it and then continue going so no matter what there may be whatever obstacle may come whatever thing may come to try and slow you down you're going to get over it quickly and continue and just the the symbolism of that road again um that road that you know to me symbolizes going out as opposed to coming home you know going out into the nations into the world in whatever sh way shape or form that is for you the ministries that god has put on your heart need to be taking off or they will be taking off as god brings you into that deeper intimacy as he turns that intimacy with him around and he um refuels you so that you're able to do the things that he wants you to do. So that is really the word for today. I don't have the scripture ready. Like I said this was impromptu. Um so I am going to put the uh, scripture at the end of this video. Maybe I'll do a voice over reading it. But yeah, um I just wanted to take advantage of this time that I have now to to share this word with you. I wanted to share it yesterday, but I I was so busy with the website um I was so nervous about it because I've been working on it for a while now um really just putting my all into making it what it is um I don't have a creative team I don't have anybody helping me with that I was just like let's do it God put it on my heart he said it's time let's go so I did it and I think I was just now over editing things and the Lord was like just post the website put it out there <laughs> so i finally did that so um if you guys want to go check that out it has to do with a very specific ministry that the lord has put on my heart this is something that god put on my heart so many years ago but back then i didn't know what it would look like i had my ideas i thought i was just going to be a christian counselor so i went and did a course when the lord put it on my heart that i would minister to women um so i i went and did a course uh i loved that course it ministered to me it was such a beautiful experience. experience and when i was done i was like okay i'm ready i'm going to start this and the lord was like no hang ten like he gave me some dreams that um showed me that i i needed to wait that it wasn't yet the time and at the time he was teaching me how to understand dreams how to interpret dreams i mean that was just so exciting for me because um of being a dreamer since i was such a young child and now getting understanding that hey god is speaking it was so exciting like you don't understand how excited i was to know that <laughs> um my dreams were very significant and it was because i was seeing how they were manifesting in my life and i'm like hey i had a dream about this you know and i was like wait a minute this is god speaking you know so um he was teaching me about that and it's taken some years to really um be seasoned in dream interpretation um there's a whole testimony around that but fast forward about um 
seven to eight years after that um the lord was like okay let's start you're gonna start ministering to women but you're gonna help them understand their dreams and understand what it is that they need to be doing what what am i telling them through dreams that they need to be doing in order to fulfill their destiny you know to come into alignment with me to be in my will and to help them be obedient to yes their purpose here on earth and so um that's been really exciting. I started doing that officially in September. Um, I had actually started before, but that was training. Um, the Lord had just like started, uh, you know, get, helping me gain my confidence in that. So I was doing it. And um, at some point the Lord was like, yeah, now you need to do this officially. He even gave me the exact amount which um, of what the consultation should be, which was a challenge for me because before then I'd been doing it uh, for free. I, it just happened organically. Like, you know, I'd be talking to somebody and then I'd feel like, no, I need to, I need to help this person. I need to walk with them. I need to journey with them. And it was the training for this and um the lord put it on my heart to make it an official ministry and i i struggled with the financial as aspect of it i'm not even gonna lie i i was really struggling with it but when the lord told me that hey you know how are you gonna fund all those things that you want to do you know because they've been things on my heart also related to women related to children you know opening like uh starting a foundation um and just making uh an impact in this world you know without just i, I don't want to leave this world without helping people and so that made me excited about it so i was like okay fine i can do this if if there's a greater purpose um behind it behind me charging people right so that's that's exciting for me like i'm, I'm looking forward to 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 uh get going with with that i'm new at it i'm fresh at this whole um foundation starting a foundation but i'm excited i think the lord has shown me what i'm capable of and not to limit myself and to think that i don't have experience in this that and the other i had no experience in in building a website i've never done it in my life and <laughs> i finally have one so you guys go check it out um i think i'm rambling now um but i pray that the word has blessed whoever it is for um now's your time the lord is really uh bringing you into deeper intimacy and helping you to uh, move forward in confidence in the things that he has put on your heart so i will see in the next video always remember that god is a good father he loves you so much because you my friends are so deeply special to him